Hey guys, Mush1 here and I'm happy to inform you that Hydeops being changed a lot after today's update. In fact, this is the very best update so far and if you stay till the end, you will be very surprised and excited because of all these changes and I'm gonna go through all of them one by one. Everyone who ever tried Hydeops at least once could notice strange things in head detection, weapon behave and huge almost unreal gun recoil. I've seen tons and tons people complaining about it or simply giving up cause they were sick and tired of broken game. All this time developers been aware of what they done and they went to change these things. Even in last update they said that things will be fixed but they need time. All future plans will be stopped until the main ones are fixed. And here we go, one month after that they kept their promises. From today's date we can call and consider Hydeops as one totally new game, a game with potential and already now I can smell hordes of players rushing to try it. So what is so much special about Hydeops now? Recoil has been totally changed and recoil mechanics, it's now easier and more comfortable to control. Firing in aiming mode makes improves hit speed. Bullets go exactly where crosshair is directed, with regards to weapon accuracy of course. Do not think that weapon recoil is removed, in fact it's working now as you fire and control it, so if you let your mouse to freely go as you fire it will probably go over the screen, but if you decide to pull it down or depends in what direction recoil is going then you will be able to keep all your bullets at the same zone. Other important things that been added are shorter delay before and after the jump, twice as shorter delay before firing after sprint, all weapons rebalance. In my opinion we needed this so badly, I've been already talking about this problem in my previous Hydeops videos where I mentioned that all weapons in Hydeops feel the same and they look just different or fire rate was different and because of that they just kill faster but none of them were more or less accurate or deadlier. Main menu has been slightly changed also, you won't notice big difference but design is different now, it's been a little bit reworked and in my opinion it looks now more professional so good job developers in changing these small things and making it to look visually better. Ok so definitely one of the better things, they added hit markers, you'll see in your crosshair when you have hit enemy. This is the feature that many of you wanted even in contract wars or been asking developers to add it to hide up. So here we go, totally new things been added. I've tried and it's working just awesome. Jump drains your stamina now, so be very careful if you decide to jump like a rabbit because you won't be able to start sprinting until you regenerate your stamina. Anyway, other things that been added in this update are problem that reset the graphic settings on the game restart has been fixed and profile loading problem that some players were experiencing is also fixed now. These things should work perfect but still don't forget it's all in early stage so a lot of it may be changed and yeah, a lot of these things needs to be polished even more in order to work better of course. Also those developers are going for even better changes, they gonna start on reworking all these maps that we have at the moment in Hardops and will rechange them a little bit, for example Bay 5 has been totally reworked and you will be able to see totally new Bay 5 map in today's video. They gonna add also new maps that we never seen previously and I can't wait to check it out. You can bet I'll try to be first here and give you all these informations about Hydeops and updates that will happen in this game. Actually you may consider me as number one guy who will be always there to give you all new informations about Hardops and many other games. Anyway that's gonna be pretty much of it for today's video. Now it's time for you guys to hit that like button if you enjoy watching this video because that's gonna help me a lot and you will reward my work that I've did for you by making this video. Of course thumbs down in case you didn't like something and tell me down in comments what was wrong. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button and turn on all notifications so you not miss anything new from me. Thanks for watching, my name was Marshall1 and I'll see you guys in one of my next videos. Bye bye.